Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can download and install Notepad++ on Windows 10. So that's been said, let's get started. To download Notepad++ on Windows 10, just open your favorite browser and search for Notepad++. Let me tell you that Notepad++ is a free and open source text and source code editor and it is the best alternative for default Notepad. Now to download, just open the link from notepad++.org slash download. Don't worry about the download link. The download link will be on the description box. So this is the download page and here you will find all the release of Notepad++. So the latest release of Notepad++ is 7.8.6. Just open this link and here you can see the release date that is 2024-20. And here we have two download options. One is for 32-bit operating system and another one is for 64-bit operating system. And here we have different download type. One is installer file, zip package, 7-zip package and more. And if you want to download the source code of Notepad++, here is the download link for the Notepad++ source code. And here you can check what's new in Notepad++ version 7.8.6. Let us download the installer file. So I have 64-bit operating system and I'm going to download the 64-bit installer file. For that simply click on installer and here you can see it is downloading. After the download complete, just open the file. Just minimize the browser and here you have to select a language. For now, I'm just going to keep it default then click on OK. And here we have the setup window. Welcome to Notepad++ version 7.8.6 setup. Here simply click on next. And here we have the license agreement. So if you want to read this license agreement, you can read this. And after that, simply click on I agree. And this is the location where Notepad++ is going to install. So if you want to change this location, you can change by clicking on this browse button. And from here, you can select your location where you want to install Notepad++. For now, I'm just going to keep it default. If you want to change, you can change. Then click on next. Here we have two type of installation. One is custom and another one is minimalist. I will suggest you to select custom and click on next. So if you want to create a desktop shortcut, simply check this box and click on install. So our installation process has been successfully completed. So we have successfully installed Notepad++ on our Windows 10 computer. So if you want to run, simply check this box and click on finish. So for now, I'm just going to uncheck this box and click on finish. So here we have our notepad shortcut. So just open this shortcut and this is the interface of notepad++. Here we have file option. From here you can open your text file or your source code file. And here we have edit option, search option, view option, encoding option and language option. So I had already told you that notepad++ is a source code editor. If you want to use these Notepad++ for your programming purpose, then also you can do that. For that, first of all, you have to select your programming language. Say for example, I want to develop Java program using Notepad++. For that, I will just use this language option and from here, I will select Java. Here, I have a simple program in Java which will print hello world. So here you can see when you select your language option, all the syntax will be highlighted in Notepad++. Now, if you want to save this file, simply go to File, then go to Save As, and select the location where you want to save, then name your file. So let me name it as main.java. So in Java programming, your file name and class name must be same. That's why here I had used main, and .java is Java extension for Java programming. Now, save the file. So here we have main.java file and this is a simple program which will print hello world. So this way you can use notepad++ for your programming purpose. And here you can check other setting option, tool option and other options. So this way you can download and install notepad++ on your Windows 10 computer. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.